It's profit. Pro Dagger make a paper off top. Yo, listen. I'm I'm whipping. I'm whipping. Cause you know, we out here, bro. We out here, bro. So this is what I'm saying, bro. Listen. Eminem been quiet, bro. He's been quiet. It's been a minute since we heard from him. The last thing we really heard from him was um the homicide jump with uh logic. Right? Oh no 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 I lied. I lied. I lied. Don't trip. Um bang conway fire song i bump that joint every day i don't know how i forgot about that but off top bro this is what i'm saying we had to come with the quick little you know prediction to what i feel like is about to happen this that and the third you know what i'm saying we got to talk about it that's what we're here for so yesterday eminem the man himself tweeted he said yo basically bro I see that they, they, they out here throwing shade on, on, on the Bulls' name. You know what I mean? They said, he said, yo, like, I see they, they, you know, talking down on me, baby. But I'm about to show him what's up. He ain't really say that. But that's what, that's, that's why it's the prediction. Because that's what I'm predicting. My, my take on it is this. I think Eminem is a little bit fed up. And I think, like I said in multiple other videos, um, I feel like M is a person that, um, raps very, very well when it's uh, a, a competition piece, right? Um, anytime, you know, obviously, y'all know Eminem, known for the battle rap. He's known for the distance. He's known for the smoke. That's what Eminem, that's what M does, bro. M is the, the warranter of smoke. So, obviously, there's been a lot surrounding him lately. Um, you know, a lot of talk about Eminem being, um, a great in hip hop, a guest in hip hop, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. We're not gonna argue that because we already know really what the answer to that that is, right? So Lord Jamar been kind of speaking down on him lately. Um, him and Royce the Five Nine going going back and forth on the Instagram stuff. Um, really, what it boils down to is Royce defending his homie, which I 100% respect and agree with. And Lord Jamar voicing his opinion about something that a lot of people are questioning if he got the right the right credentials to even speak on that. Now me, Lord Jamar is a, 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 a legend in hip hop. I'll give him that, right? But here's what it, what it boils down to to me. Okay, so Lord Jamar's response back to Royce the Five Nine, the way he worded it was like, how I feel as if if he was gonna approach the situation, he should have warned. He should have said it like that from the jump. He said some things that you know I understand where he was coming from. He said some stuff that really didn't make a lot of sense. But this is how I feel about it. Lord Jamar is getting a new amount of attention from this, right? Now I'm not saying he's clout chasing. I don't think that. I think part of what he's saying he actually believes. But I think that a big part of what Lord Jamar's issue is with what a lot of people have issues with Eminem with um, is not Eminem, it's his fans. They say that, you know, they're tired of fighting essentially against his fans about always just 100% siding with him regardless of good or bad. Do I agree with that? I do. I, I, I do. I do agree with the, the stands being a problem. I do agree with people not being honest with Eminem being a problem with some of his work. Um, I do agree with, with, with aspects of that. You know what I mean? But as far as Eminem not being a legend or Eminem not being a top great, like, that's not even a debate, bro. It's not even a debate at this point, bro. We, we're not going to debate if Eminem is a great or not, dog. Like, this is somebody who, like Lord Jamar himself said, puts words together better than anybody else in hip-hop. Somebody who created his own lane in hip-hop for his style of rapping. Somebody who has mastered a craft that people, you know, strive to achieve a level of lyricism that people would love to reach in their career, et cetera, et cetera. He has countless numbers of things that are classic. He has classic numbers of things that people know him for. He's got that. Eminem has every credential that he deserves for being a GOAT. And, you know, I believe Eminem is probably on everybody's top 50. And if not, they tripping. And if you don't have him on the top 50, you at least got him top 10. You say what you want, bro. But it's something that when somebody does that much for hip-hop, 
you got to give them they, they, they flowers while they're here, man. You feel me? And um, I feel like Wayne kind of goes through a lot of that same situation. We talked about this on the monthly podcast as well. Make sure y'all peeping that out. Screw live channel for sure, for sure. Because that jump fire. But, um, yeah, so I think what it boils down to, bro, I don't think that uh, Lord Jamar necessarily envious or necessarily like jealous or anything like that. I think it more boils down for Jamar. Um, he's tired of dealing with the Eminem fans. And like I said, I can understand where he's coming from with that. But a lot of stuff he's saying, majority of stuff he's saying is really out of bounds. And I agree with Royce wholeheartedly. So if in fact Eminem comes and he said, yo, bro, we about to cook. Like, if he, if M comes out and he drops a diss track and he, you know, addresses the Vlads and, and all these people, um, Lord Jamar and stuff like that, if he does that, bro, I'm here for it. Y'all already know. Y'all already know what type of, you know what I mean? Because we know what Killshot did and we know when M gets fed up where he gets to a place in hip-hop where it drives him to be that competitive nature. And, and really, that's what I'm here for, dog, because at the end of the day, bro, this is how I feel. Eminem has a right to speak his piece. Lord Jamar said enough. Simple as that. Lord Jamar said a lot, bro. Lord Jamar has said a lot. And I'm okay with that. It's his opinion. You feel me? But like, Eminem has the ability right now. I hope this isn't focused. Eminem has the ability to right now to respond to all this. And um, I'm here for it. And I feel like this is something that's going to drive Eminem to be wild. I'm not going to hold you. I know it's dark as hell right now because I'm in these trees. But listen, when it, when the when the push comes to shove, we all know where M lies with the disses and battles. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. I don't know if Eminem has an L under his belt for a, a rap beef. I'm going to keep it a rock. I don't think he does. I want to say he's undefeated. I, 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 off top, I can't think of an L that M took. I'm going to keep it a band. I can't. I can't name you one. So, this is what I want y'all to do. I want y'all to let me know in the comment section. We all think, you know, M might respond. Hold on. It's them boys. It's them boys. Yeah, my bad. It was them boys. And, you know, I don't know if they could pull me over for this. So, this is what I'm saying is this, right? Bong. It boils down to this. I want to know in the comment section, do you think that Lord Jamar will respond if Eminem raps? That's what I want to know. Because I want to know if this is going to be something that everybody thinks that M is just here to just slaughter him, get him out the way, and then Lord Jamar going to go kind of silent after that? Or if this is one of those situations where you think that M is going to rap and, I mean, or do you think it's going to be a battle? If you think it's going to be a battle, I need you to tell me why. Do you think Lord Jamar is going to come back and give him any type of, you know what I mean, problem? Because I don't know, bro. It's been a minute. I haven't heard Lord Jamar, bro, in I don't know how long, son. So what it boils down to to me, I'm here for it. I want to know. I want to know in the comment section. That's what I want to know. I think M might drop a track. And if he don't drop a track, this is good promotion for something else that he may drop. Maybe he's going to drop something else. Maybe he's going to drop some some, some different fire. It's been exactly a year since Kamikaze dropped on Saturday. Saturday, bro. It's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. For Eminem to come back, and that's the first thing he said, I want to know. Because you obviously know it's not, Eminem's not like the I'm going to make a video about it type of guy. You know what I mean? He's a guy who's going to get on a track and just start getting to cooking. You feel me? I know he's on the, the, this cooking mission and, and, dog, I don't know, bruh. I don't know. I know for a fact that M's going to body him. I know for a fact that M's going to body him. That's not even a question. Eminem is a better rapper than Lord Jamar. I can confidently say that. But I do want to know if Lord Jamar going to respond, though, because that would be interesting. I, I, I would I would like to hear what he would say on the track. Is he going to try to use the same angle he always used? Is he going to try to out-rap him? You know what I mean? Like, what are you going to do to a person like Eminem in a battle when you're Lord Jamar? And that's what I want to know, man. That's what I want to know. I think M gonna come with the smoke. Keep it a rock. I think that's what he's here for. 
<laughs> Yo, I want to know, bro, because I'm telling you right now, Kill Shot went crazy. Kill Shot went crazy. Everybody knows it. that's still being talked about. So we gonna know soon enough, man. We gonna know if you knew. Make sure you drop a like. Make sure you comment. Make sure you subscribe. You know I was whipping, so that's how you got the the vlog. But that's what it is because yo, we always working. Yo, we working hard to hardly work. You hear? Like it's what it is, man. You know what I mean? So if y'all knew, drop a like, comment, and subscribe. Grr, bah.